Apple also announced it's cutting the price of earlier iPhones. Our next guest says that means it's entering the mass market game and will see its presence in emerging markets increase. Francisco Geronimo is research manager for European consumer telecoms at IDC and he joins us now. Francisco, thank you so much for joining us on the program. What did you make of the launch? We were expecting something maybe a little bit more pizzazz. We were expecting something that looked and felt different. The only thing we got in terms of this iPhone 4S is what's inside. So uh, voice recognition, also the fact that you can talk on the phone for an extra hour. Yes, uh, the, indeed it was a bit disappointment, uh, the announcement with all the rumors around the iPhone 5. And while in the past Apple was able to uh, make significant improvements in terms of the hardware and software, yesterday we just saw uh, a software update with uh, some minor, in my opinion, some minor improvements in terms of the camera, in terms of the speed, something that competitors have already uh, quite for a long time. And so a minor improvements at the same time they slash these costs for, for the previous iPhones. I wonder whether this is a good or bad thing. Of yes. course, they, they reach the mass market, so they reach more of the emerging markets, but then it becomes less of a desirable, cool product. Yeah, definitely. In my opinion, yesterday news was all about uh, the price positioning. Apple was struggling in the mid uh, tier of, of the market. Android is dominating and fiercely growing in that segment. So Apple needed to do something. This new uh, price, the new prices Apple announced, will uh, attract first time smartphone users. Those consumers that were not able to afford an iPhone 4, for instance, that now will able to, uh, to buy it because the price is very attractive. And and this is very bad news for research in motion and for Nokia. And what about how the chief executive fared? This is the first time there was a product launch without Steve Jobs. He's been fairly harshly criticized by people saying, oh, he wasn't charismatic enough, it's not Steve Jobs. But should we just give him a break? Yeah, we should give him a break. Indeed, he has been with the company for so long. And he has the Apple's DNA uh, in it. So it, it, it's definitely uh, something that it won't make such a, as a much change over the next uh, few years. Francisco, of course, there's all, all these patent battles going on. Samsung um, has just released s some breaking news saying that actually that they're going after Apple in Italy and France so that they can't sell the 4S because of patent disputes. Is this something that will go on? Is it just going to be a blip or should Apple be really worried about this? Apple and Samsung uh, are fighting on courts um, in terms of the different patents, in terms of user interface, in terms of wireless technology uh, that today uh, Samsung uh, announced. And we'll see this fight over the, the next months and quarters because the market is, is very mature, is saturated, and competition is very, very strong. So everyone uh, needs to fight as much as possible, especially if they want to lead the market. And Samsung is the, uh, the market leader in some regions and Apple um, is facing the competition. So we saw that on tablets. We see this on, on, the, on today's announcement. Mm -hmm. And at the end, what will probably happen is an agreement between uh, both companies uh, to settle all these lawsuits. The million dollar question, when do you think that we're going to get the iPhone 5? Is it impossible to tell or will they get something out before Christmas? Uh, not definitely uh, before Christmas. Uh, probably next year. does not make any sense uh, with yesterday's so announcements close, yeah. to have another new uh, iPhone. Um, it will kill the previous version so definitely next year uh, whether in June or or later uh, in the year we don't know but uh, only next year um, not this year definitely. yeah not this year because it's just too soon and Francisco just very quickly are, were you really disappointed with what we had yesterday I know you said you know it, it's minor adjustments but we can't always expect it to have this wow amazing factor it, it would be unrealistic uh, it wouldn't be a really unrealistic because they could have worked on the on the hardware and the, the, the new iPhone could be a bit thinner, a bigger screen, uh, some other improvements. Some of the improvements were already expected, a better camera, a better processor, um, but everyone was expecting a new look, look more, and feel. Yeah. Because now, if you have the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S, there's no much difference. No one will be able to recognize it. Yeah, it looks absolutely the same. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Francisco Geronimo there, research manager for European Consumer Telecoms at IDC.